Hello everyone, in this video we'll talk about the surplus and shortage situations. These are unstable situations when the price is either above or below the market equilibrium. The first example would be about a surplus. Um, a surplus happens when the price is above market equilibrium. As I said, it's an unstable situation, so that's an example. So let's suppose the price is here. Uh, let me just dash this good and let's call it P2 okay so in this situation the quantity that is supplied at this price w exceeds the quantity that is demanded so just to highlight it for you guys so that is the quantity demanded and I'll just dash it and that is the quantity supplied so the difference in quantities is basically called the surplus so that's the surplus here exactly that so there is a surplus of x amount or x units or x kilograms x tons and so forth so as i said this is an unstable situation so what happens is that the suppliers at this kind of quantity they see they see the demanders or the demand willing to pay only so much in price and so basically instead of dumping away or throwing away uh, the goods what they will have to do is they will start to reduce the price in order to meet this kind of demand price but as they gradually do it as they start to go down in price what will happen is that the demand starts to increase gradually eventually both values will converge into the market equilibrium and it will stop there on the other side a shortage is when the price is below the market equilibrium so let's plot our current price here and i will just dash it as well there we go and uh, what we notice is that in a case of shortage the quantity demanded exceeds the quantity supplied so there's more people that want goods that are not as available so here i just plot the quantities here we go so the shortage is actually the difference between those two quantities so that is our shortage here okay sorry for the mess okay so what happens is that as i said this is also an unstable situation the suppliers at this kind of price they notice that at this kind of price and quantity they can actually sell it at such price here there's enough demand to buy at such price as at a much higher price so that's an incentive for the suppliers to increase gradually the price um, as they do that basically the quantity is increasing the demand is decreasing but that's okay because it's reducing the shortage overall and eventually they will both meet at the point of equilibrium and will stop there so both cases of shortage and surplus in a completely competitive market without any restrictions basically end up at the market equilibrium that's all for this lecture if you have any question please write it in the comment section below i'll make sure to answer as soon as possible also make sure to like this video and click on the subscribe button for more interesting finance and management lessons thanks for watching